I want to welcome you to another segment of the Redox Sailor Core Curriculum video series. And today I'm really feeling blessed to have been attending the, uh, the Integrated Healthcare Symposium here in New York. My colleague and friend Russell Mariani, who uh, is also attending, uh, gladly offered to uh, do a little video segment on the topic of digestive illness in terms of redox chemistry and inflammation in particular. Russell's the book of this great uh, author of this great book, Healing Digestive Illness. And um, Russell, thank you again for uh, agreeing to help out today. Thank you, Dr. Ward. Happy to be here. So my question for you that I think our audience is interested in knowing about is what has been your experience with uh, working for the last 20 plus years with educating and helping people heal with digestive illnesses around the world, from Australia to Austria. Um, and what, what have you witnessed in terms of this healing process since in the last five years or so, you incorporated the, the use of supplementing redox uh, molecules in your practice? Yes, great question. Um, so, of course, my whole orientation in this work has been to look at root causes. Um, and so making those adjustments and changes in people's diet uh, is always the first step. So five years ago, I was introduced to this redox technology, redox signaling molecules, and first simply read about it and then started applying it uh, to myself and with patients and saw an acceleration in the healing process. So you have kind of a protocol, is that right? Correct. And so your protocol has been largely the same for many years. Many years, unchanged for at least 20, 20, 20 plus years. So it has its roots in macrobiotics. Um, what else? Proper diet, hydration, micronutrients, macronutrient balance, intestinal dysbiosis, which is typically the major cause of inflammation in the gut. And so the whole focus of my program is anti-inflammatory. Each step, hydration, addressing micronutrient deficiencies, addressing the dysbiosis, and then stress factors, particularly in the diet, not eating late, avoiding cold things, chewing your food. And so what the redox technology has brought, and of course, everything that's happening, inflammation's happening at the cellular level. And so redox molecules, redox signaling molecules are at the core of all activity inside cells. And so now we have an ability to allow that cell to generate more antioxidants, utilize more antioxidants. And so the, the end result of that process is less and less inflammation, faster recovery, faster healing. So did you yourself experience a shift in your health? Yes, I did. I got into this work many years ago, 40 plus years ago, because I had an inflammatory bowel condition myself and uh, have been largely symptom-free, mostly symptom-free through diet and supplements and stress management. Um, but six, seven years ago, I was noticing that I was going to have to become more focused, more disciplined uh, in my diet in order to have my symptoms be gone or less. So I was, I was definitely noticing some minor symptoms in my own inflammatory bowel history. And when I started drinking uh, the molecules, uh, it took a couple of months, but I noticed a dramatic improvement in my own GI function, mm -hmm. both with digestion and absorption and assimilation, as well as so at that point, you started recommending it to your patients. Absolutely. And what are, give us a quick example of uh, maybe a case where you saw some shifts. <clears throat> sure. I mean, I pretty much saw shifts in, in all the situations. So in my practice, it's pretty much 50-50 in terms of inflammatory bowel conditions. Can I say yeah, names? Sure. Like Crohn's disease and colitis and ulcerative colitis. These people are typically having frequent, urgent, uh, uh, loose bowel movements, and then the opposite would be constipation, colonic inertia, gastroparesis. But at, at the root of all these conditions is 
dysbiosis and the, the effect of the uh, pathological organisms, the bad bacteria, creating toxins that then cause the inflammation. And then that inflammation produces these results over here and or these results over there. But the root is the same. So in both uh, spectrums, by adding the molecular supplement, people's recovery time is simply faster, more effective, and I think the most important thing is more sustainable. Mm -hmm. In other words, they're able to sustain the progress that they've made, the results that they've had, as long as they stay on the supplement. So it's become a, a, a required tool uh, of, your, of your work. It's become a new uh, standard of care, yeah. It's become a new uh, fundamental in the practice, absolutely. And um, is it true that it's very safe and has no real downside to it? Yeah, there's no downside at all. The company's uh, done great work in uh, you know, establishing no toxicity. So this is absolutely perfectly safe and extremely effective in kind of every situation. Every situation is dealing with cells and these molecules help cells do what they were designed to do, which is to function normally, take in more nutrients, eliminate more waste, fix and repair. I mean, redox signaling molecules are at the, at the root of all cellular activity, okay. the biomechanics. All right. Well, Russell, thank you. Appreciate your right. help. And uh, we appreciate you attending this course. And uh, stay tuned for more courses as time unfolds.